If you go on many Jehovah's Witness websites, you'll find that they describe the Trinity as a pagan belief. And along with this teaching, you often find one of these images. Their agenda? To convince you that this is the Trinity. And at some point in time, Christians actually worshipped such a God. The reality is, there isn't a residue of evidence that says the Christian church worshipped such images. Jehovah's Witnesses will make a lot of claims here, but at the end of the day, all a Christian really needs to do is say, hey, show me some evidence that a Christian worshipped a Babylonian or Egyptian three-headed god. They really can't do it because there is no evidence. The church has a long history of worshipping the God of heaven. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Jehovah's Witnesses try to discredit the Bible's message here, but the reality is we cannot adhere to the Bible and reject the Trinity at the same time. Those who do find themselves on shifting sand. The Watchtower's governing body the real God of the Jehovah's Witnesses puts Jehovah's Witnesses in a very difficult position. Uh, they know they require absolute allegiance, even when their doctrine goes against the Word of God or continually contradicts itself. For example, they used to teach that Jesus is not Michael the Archangel, Watchtower, November. 1879, page 48. Today they say, never mind that. Jesus is Michael the Archangel. They used to say, Jesus must be worshipped. Watchtower, November 1939, page 339. Today they say, never mind that. Jesus must not be worshipped. Jesus died on a Cross, The Harp of God, 1921, page 112. Today they say, never mind that. Jesus died on a torture stake, not a cross. The end of the world will come in 1914. Watchtower, October 1890, page 1243. Never mind that. The end of the world will come in 1925. Millions now living will never die, 1918. Never mind that. The end of the world will come in 1975. Awake, October 8th, 1966. Where does the Watchtower get any of these things from the Bible? <laughs> I don't know. Friends, test and approve what you hear. If the Watchtower says Christians worshipped a three-headed Babylonian or Egyptian god, test that. Ask them where they get that evidence from. Because the reality is the church worships the God of heaven. They follow Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. They adhere to the Trinity doctrine because the Bible gives us no other choice. The Bible teaches there's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, three distinct persons, one God. Hallelujah. He's so good. The sad reality is the governing body is the Jehovah's Witnesses God. They have a 150-year history of shifting sand, changing core doctrines, in what the Jehovah's Witnesses believe. Jehovah's Witnesses are stuck in a structure where they have to blindly go on following the Watchtower regardless of what they say or how terribly they pervert the Word of God. Let's face it, if tomorrow they decide to change another doctrine in the Bible with some heretical amendment, millions of Jehovah's Witnesses will blindly follow along without question simply because the Watchtower says so. Friend, do not let this be you. Follow the God of heaven. Adhere to His Word. Read the Bible. 
for what it plainly says. I pray this message blessed you and helps you in your pursuit of truth.